Jeremy here for Common Collect, and I've got the Hot Wheels RC of the Tesla Roadster. Let's open it up, see how it works, and try it out. Oh! <laughs> A while back at Target, I finally found the Hot Wheels RC of the Tesla Roadster. You can find them on Amazon as well. And for the first time recently, I saw the Corvette version show up at Walmart. I'll have some links in the description as well as for some different track sets that I've used to take pieces from to create my different layouts. So the box here isn't that different than the last couple that we've seen, like the Corvette and Buzz Lightyear. You get the ramp here to enter Hot Wheels track system from a hard floor, the USB cable to charge the car, and the controller. Of course, this is the new smaller version. And the car itself. It's taped in here at the bottom, so to free it, we're gonna cut the tape. And then once you pull it out, you have to cut these little rubber bands around the wheels. It's got a one-piece plastic body that's screwed onto the motor and the wheels. Got the instruction book. This controller uses two AA batteries. With the switch on the bottom of the car, switch to off slash charge, plug in the little cable that's connected to the USB. You can plug that into like a little charge brick for a phone or any other USB charger that you have. It will blink to let you know that it's charging and it should take about 20 minutes for the initial charge. And it will light solid when it's done. To play, flip the switch on the bottom of the car to on. Press the sync button on the controller and it will light solid to let you know that it's paired. Pretty simple controls. The left joystick is front and back and the right joystick is to turn. It does have variable speed controls, but it's difficult to control at slow speed. Turning while stopped is especially difficult, but it would be easier to make large, smooth turns uh, on a big open hard floor. The right button here on the bumper is the boost. Most of our house is carpeted, so we'll have to improvise with these whiteboard sheets to get a little test of what it would be like on a hard floor. Gotta make sure you have enough speed to get through that loop. Go oh, onto the carpet. Whoa, too much speed. I'm really gonna have to break when I get onto the whiteboard. There we go. Slam it in hard reverse. Woo! Darn. Double loop is messing me up. Oh, onto the carpet. Let's try going the opposite direction, see if it's easier to get through that double loop. There we go. Oh. Woo! Woo! All right, let's level up. So it is a circuit with two options going around the back there. So you can choose to go either path. The one with the shorter curve has two loops, so they possibly would take about the same amount of time to get through. So I added this blue paper barrier on the whiteboard just to help keep the car on the board because every time it goes off into the carpet, we have to stop, pick it up, put it back on the whiteboard. So there's still gonna be some steering to do on the whiteboard, but hopefully this will keep me from having to bend over and pick up the car over and over again. It's already open. Pretty clean run. Pretty easy on that path. Let's try the second one. Push the gate open. 
Whoa, and I flipped over. Let's try to get a complete run on the section with the double loop. Woo! All right. There we go. Okay, Kelsey's in the red Tesla Roadster and I'm in the blue Corvette. The winner is whoever gets the most times around the circuit without crashing. You can take either of the back two paths, whichever you prefer. And if one of us crashes, we both have to pause to pick the car up. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> ooh, ooh. I'm failing already. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh. Three, two, one, go. Oh, pause. Three, two, one, go. Ah! Whoa, how'd I get turned around? I don't know. That's one for me. Kelsey ties it up and I have two runs now. I bumped you right in there. Oh, okay. Three, two, one, go. Oh, that's four for me. Going for the hard path. Oh, I survived! Oh, yeah. oh and I crashed. <laughs> oh, and I crashed. Get out of the way. Get out of the way! Get out of the way! We'll give that one to Kelsey. <laughs> Aha! Oh, I wiped out. I think that's six for me. Let's call it and I'll take a victory lap. Oh no, I'm on my side. Wait, wait, let me try and push you. Ah! <laughs> Cut the brother out. I'm trying. Wait, say where you are. I'm backwards. <laughs> When you're done, switch the car to off and press that pairing button again on the controller and hold it until it turns off. The Total Turbo Takeover is one of the track sets that I use to take pieces from to build my various layouts in my RC videos. Also, Dollar Tree has a lot of good pieces you can use as well. Remember, if you use a track set like the Total Turbo Takeover, don't use the kicker loops or the boosters with the Hot Wheels RC cars. We'll have some links in the description to different track sets that I like to use as well. A while back, Steve and I bought a bunch of these straight tracks at Dollar Tree to extend our six lane super speedway to a scale quarter mile, which is about 24 feet long. Do you have any of the Hot Wheels RC? Which is your favorite? Let us know in the comments. Common Collected is a family of three channels, so not just diecast, but we make videos about action figures and Lego as well. 
Those links will be in the description. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.